and our guest, uh, Mustafa Al Batam, he is a uh, hacker and technology uh, founder of uh, Celestia Model of Blockchain, uh, which uh, recently became a unicorn. Great to have you here, Mustafa. Thanks, great to be here. So, can you tell us uh, about your background? Uh, like, uh, you are known as Valpo Hack in FBI. Uh, so, can you tell uh, when did you get your first computer and how did you start with hacking? Uh, well, this was like, I, I was involved with various hacking groups when I was like a teenager, when I was 15 or 16, and like Anonymous and Lossek. We hacked into like various uh, yeah, organi uh, companies in the US, like FBI, uh, Fox, and um, the US Senate. But I was, al I was always kind of very interested in peer-to-peer uh, -peer systems, and that's kind of why I, I'm programming from an early age, and that's kind of why um, I, bec I became a hacktivist. But ever since then, I've been kind of working on distributed systems and, and censorship systems and blockchains. And that's what I'm doing with Celestia now. So when did you discover crypto? When did you discover Bitcoin? Uh, well, I first, heard of, I first heard about Bitcoin in about 2010, um, back in the, or 2009. Mm -hmm. But I, I, this was like back before Bitcoin wasn't worth anything. And I started playing around with it. Um, and I kind of like was following the discussions of the community and there was a lot of debates about the scalability of Bitcoin because Bitcoin had a one megabyte block size limit and and that's when I was first became very interested in scaling blockchains and so I, I, and so I decided to pursue a PhD at UCL on layer one blockchain scalability uh, in 2016 and then that's kind of, and then as part of that I uh, co-founded a company called Chainspace, which is a sharded blockchain back in 2017. And that was, that, that was acquired by Facebook, but I did not join Facebook. And I decided to start Celestia instead a few years ago. And uh, can you describe in simple words uh, for non-technical people what Celestia does? Yeah, so Celestia is um, like a very minimal layer one blockchain. So where like today, like most blockchains, they try to do everything. Um, so like for example, like Ethereum introduced something called the world computer model, where you, de you create a smart contract and you deploy it on the same blockchain as everyone else. So it's like all the applications and programs are running on the same blockchain. And that's kind of like trying to run everyone's program on the same computer. Um, but we decided to take a different approach and um, instead of creating a new, instead of creating a new smart contract platform, there's already lots of smart contract platforms like you know like Solana, Aptos, Siri, Dear Protocol. We decided to kind of take a step back and to create a um, a, a, a modular blockchain stack. So what is a modular blockchain stack? So what we're building is a layer one blockchain that only does the basic things that, that a blockchain should do, and that's basically consensus and data availability. So like we don't have any smart contracts, we don't have any execution. Uh, instead, developers can define their own execution environments on top of us um, using something called rollups. And rollups is a piece of technology that allows you to kind of deploy your own blockchain without the overhead of needing to create your own validator set. Um, so in the future, like our thesis is like instead of everyone uh, deploying a smart contract on a shared blockchain, people will create their own blockchains using rollups because uh, it gives them more flexibility. And if we want to make deploying a new blockchain as easy as deploying a new smart contract, and I think if we do that um, by making it possible to deploy a blockchain with, without needing to maintain your own consensus network because you can plug Celestia in as your consensus network. So, how then, do you separate yeah. the data volatility layer from the consensus network? So in, in our case, um, we, we, we don't separate consensus and data availability because we separate consensus and execution. Uh -huh. um, so like whereas most blockchains, they, they couple together consensus and execution, which means that the validator nodes in the blockchain, not only do they have to come to consensus on the order of the transactions, they also have to actually execute and process the transactions to check if they're valid. Uh, in our network, the validators don't actually have to process and execute the transactions, they just have to include them in the block. Um, and that remove and so that means there's no computational bottleneck for uh, our layer one. Uh, instead, you, you're supposed to create your own chain 
that uses our chain for consensus. And it, so your chain does not have to share computational resources with everyone else. Like on, smart, like on Ethereum, for example, when it's congested, your, the gas becomes more expensive because uh, everyone's trying to com compete for the same computational resources. Uh, so if uh, anybody can uh, create their own uh, blockchain on top yeah. of Celestia, how are you different, for example, from Subnance, from Avalanche, or from... Yeah. from so the main difference is this concept of shared security. So right now, if you just deploy a blockchain on like, uh, like Avalanche or Cosmos, your blockchain has to kind of bootstrap um, a Herbalator set from scratch. Like you need, you need to create, you, have to, you need to bootstrap economic security from, the, from scratch. That so your chain will have zero dollars of economic security at the start and then you have, and you still have to build up that economic security. But if you imagine a world where there's like Right now, there's like thousands of blockchains, but if you imagine a future where there's millions of blockchains, mm -hmm. it's not going to be sustainable for, for millions of blockchains to each have uh, economic security. Because what you're actually doing is if you have millions of blockchains, you're fragmenting the economic security um, across millions of chains. So to fix that, um, we have what's, uh, if you use rollups, then you, you can actually have shared security if this if this rollups if this rollup chains use the same data availability layer like Celestia, those rollup chains can actually inherit security, um, economic security, from the uh, consensus layer uh, uh, below it. Yeah. And uh, you launched as well your uh, testnet in May. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when do you plan to release your mainnet? And as well, how many developers have already used your testnet? Yeah, so um, we are planning to have an upgrade for, to our testnet uh, later this month and also early next year. And we are hoping to ship mainnet um, early next year as well. Uh, we, we have like various projects currently experimenting on Celestia. Um, we, we had a program called, we, we launched this program called the Mod Modular Fellows Program, which uh, we gave grants to various teams and projects that I want to build uh, modular blockchains that used last year. So are these uh, grants in uh, stable coins or in... Uh uh, these are just like, yeah, USD uh, cash mm -hmm. grants. Um, and one of the, like for example, one of the projects building on us is a called Eclipse, which is a uh, roll-up that uses the Solana execution environment. Mm -hmm. And so like in the future, you'll be able to deploy roll-ups that use Solana contracts uh, that you'll uh, on Celestia. <coughs> and so instead of like, and the, the, the whole point of this is like, just because you want to make an improvement, uh, one improvement on a blockchain, you shouldn't have to like deploy a new layer one blockchain <coughs> for that. Like for example, like Solana has a really good execution environment, but they don't necessarily need their own consensus environment, consensus network for that. If they, they you can take execution, you can take the best ideas from different blockchains and you can put them into a modular stack where they, co where they can all compose with each other. And how yeah. do you generally see the current state of crypto market? We <laughs> have yeah. so many bad news, <laughs> but still we see developers building. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's a typical bear market. Like, uh, as I said, I've been following Bitcoin since 2010. So this is, like, this is not my first bear market. Uh, so like, I'm pretty used to it by now, but at some point, like the market will bottom and then, and then it will be only, and then like it will be up only when, once it bottoms. And I think like, we're potentially close close to the bottom. Yeah. So, what will be the catalyst uh, for the next uh, bull market? Uh, well, we need like new, we need good news and builders to kind of create new ideas. And um, so, like for example, in the last bull market, um, like DeFi was one of like the the hottest topics, but now there's there's like a lot of builders building new ideas. Um, and I think that will be ready for like just the next the next bull market and. Modular, modular blockchains uh, kind of are one of those ideas. There's lots of projects um, building a lot of infrastructure to it, roll up infrastructure uh, and exper experimenting with different execution environments. And um, you know, for example, like the Solana virtual machine, you also got like a project with Fuel, you got Move VM, and all of those things will be ready for the next bull market. Um, and that will kind of unleash a new wave of like exp experimentation and allow developers to create decentralized applications that might not have been possible to do before, either either because of scalability reasons or UX reasons. And can you share what's next for Selectia? Yeah, so at the moment we're just very busy trying to ship mainnet. So that's kind of like what we're kind of like focused on 
uh, the most right now. And yeah, we, we, we're planning a few testnet upgrades and then we're just, apart from that, we're mainly uh, kind of working towards mainnet. Okay, so we'll wait for more news and updates from Celestia. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.